Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki. In today's video, I want to talk to you about high performance planning. This is a concept I learned about today while watching Tom Bilyeu and Brendan Bouchard talk on the impact theory. Now, it's really interesting, about 20 minutes into the video, Brendan talked about his own high performance planner and I thought about this. What is a high performance planner? He went on to explain that, you know, his schedule is planned like six months in advance, right? And if you're thinking to yourself, well, what's my schedule? I was thinking to myself, what's my schedule? I don't have anything planned in my calendar. And from a productivity standpoint, I may be doing things throughout the day, but by not planning things out, I'm severely, li I'm severely limiting the amount of things I can be productive with. Now this year I've been taking a new challenge called the No Butt in the Seat Challenge. So basically, I'm not allowed to watch entertainment based content and this has been fantastic because I've freed up a lot of time today but I was first able to see the effect of this challenge consciously today. I woke up in the morning, had the morning stream, 5.30 about 7, and I was unsure what to do. So what did I do? I slept for 4 hours. After I slept, I woke up, I did some UPS stuff, I went to the gym, came back home, went shopping, and then again, I had another chunk of time and I didn't know what to do. Usually in these chunks of time where I didn't know what to do, I've watched some entertainment-based content on my phone. But not wanting to lie to myself or lying to the teacher who posed the challenge to me, I didn't do that. Instead, what I did was I chose to sleep, right? Now, when I get onto the evening stream on Twitch, I'm starting to talk about these ideas and I'm starting to look at my Imagination Station chapter on Wattpad. Imagination Station chapter on Wattpad. And it's not as structured as I, was like, I would like it to be. So what I did was I started using this concept of a high performance planner. And what Brendan recommended doing in his video with Tom Billy was that you ask yourself these questions, these questions of contemplation, right? Like, how am I going to deal with X today? How am I going to make this more fun? You ask these questions that start to get your brain thinking about how you're going to act in the certain situations you expect to encounter throughout the day. Now, he recommends doing 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening, and keeping a scorecard at the end of the day to rate your, your core values, like energy, consistency, personality. From what I've been learning in Atomic Habits by James Clear, don't start with 10 because that's a little daunting for most of us. And before we can improve the habit, we have to establish the habit. And the third law of habit formation states, make the law easy, right? So I was thinking that I'm going to start applying this with three habits, like, like three questions. I mean, three questions throughout the day in which I'm going to ask myself, I, I wrote three of them down today. I don't know what they, they were. Let me, let me go pull them up. I wrote three of these questions down today in my evening section on the Imagination Station. I asked myself, what did I learn today? Where did I make a mistake today? And what could I have done better? These are three really simple contemplation questions. And I know that contemplation questions might be a little difficult to answer because they don't make you feel that good. Because if you're not planned with your time, you're going to realize that, oh, I really didn't do anything. But guys, it's possible to change your brain waves. It's possible to change your like your synapses in your brain and change your habits. I know this, like, I'm doing this right now and that's why I'm so excited because what I'm doing right now, the video I'm making right now is a product of habit stacking. Right after the Twitch stream is done, I make the YouTube video because if I don't do that, there's a high chance that I won't make the YouTube video later on. And what this is doing is that it's linking Twitch to YouTube so that I constantly remember to produce the content because I'm thinking that if I don't produce the content, what's the point? You guys aren't going to watch my videos. You have a 0% chance to watch my videos. I'm already thinking to myself, no one watches my videos. Oh, I'm not, not a good YouTube creator or whatever. But if I don't produce the content, there's a 0% chance that anyone is going to get anything from these ideas. And I think that that's the biggest shame. You know, I've been struggling to be consistent with YouTube all my life, but I think now I have the information to actually change it. And I'm starting with this high performance planner. I'm starting with this idea that I just got from two really, really successful people in the industry. So I would challenge you to do the same. 
Maybe don't even do three. Maybe just do one question of contemplation per day. Start with that and then work your way up to two. Work your way up to three. Start small, work up to bigger because I guarantee you these small incremental shifts in your daily routine are going to have massive gains. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, please like the video, man. I need some likes to help me out to make me think I'm on the right path. <laughs> Leave a comment. I absolutely adore comments and I, I haven't been the best with responding to them, but I'm going to be much better in the future. Share this video with your friends, man. We need to spread the word of positive thinking to more people. Like, positive thinking is a novel thought. That's a bomb thought that I had today. Oh, it's so good. And even if you don't do any of that stuff, all I would ask is that you keep watching, keep coming back. Because you may not get it today, but the more positive in content you intake into your head, the more likely you are to act upon it. All right? Thanks, YouTube. Bye.